So we're calling this recap video, this is something Raggy never does, but uh, it can be used most especially if you're going to use some of the automated chart patterns on the auto chartist, which I know a lot of you are using that platform and it's free, right? Many of our simpler partners do use it, do have it. And then I've shown you how to get it for free. And that's a big part of how we gauge the, let me show you here how we gauge the price movement ranges when we're setting stops and targets and even day trading. Now, for those of you who don't have auto chartist, I got your back. Sit tight. We're going to go to autochartist.com. A U T O C H A R T I S T. Autochartist.com. These guys are actually out of Austin. They were out of Johannesburg for a lot of years. And I've known these guys forever. They don't have a direct subscription. They're not actually looking to sell you or I anything. They work with different companies, some of which many of you know through the simpler Forex side of things, right? That would be companies like Oanda and Forex.com. And I believe Thinkorswim, you'll see right down in here, Thinkorswim is also an auto chartist partner. So many simpler partners here. The way you get this gratis, okay. Go to the Wayne website and you see where it says register, it's free. It really is. However, there's a caveat. Um, go ahead and put your first name, last name, blah, blah, blah. But here's the important part. When you get down to please select your broker, choose I do not have a broker. Now, I would also recommend if you have a broker like Oanda or Forex.com or any of the other brokers on the list, you can have two auto chartist subscriptions. One will be direct and one will be through your broker partner. So feel free to have both. But the reason I want you guys to go through auto chartist direct is one of the last things that I worked on with these guys before uh, I just basically um, realized that it's exactly what I want and I left it alone is I asked them to add NASDAQ, S&P, more futures, not just currency Forex. So there's a lot of futures and stocks that they, and ETFs, by the way, that are now scanned. The Pretty much the only way that I am interested in chart patterns of any sort is when they are objectively identified through the auto chartist platform. So when I am looking for, for example, here at Channel Up, on New Zealand dollar futures and I see two parallel lines. These are two parallel lines that are identified by the auto chartist. Let me show you though how we will work with some of these chart patterns and these trend lines. And, and this is pretty basic stuff, but I think it's super helpful. So now you know how to get the auto chartist for free. It'll be live for two weeks, and then after two weeks, it just downgrades to a delayed version, okay? And we use that service here in the room every day. So a couple things about trend lines, and that's really what chart patterns most often are made of. Look at the crude oil chart on the daily time frame. We've gone from, in this case, congestion to consolidation. Now the consolidation means the range has narrowed and triangle patterns are self-limiting patterns. At some point, just because price action runs out of anywhere to move, it will just by its very nature run out of move and run out of room and move through the downtrend resistance or the uptrend support. So realize they're self-limiting patterns, any kind of pennant, triangle, symmetrical, asymmetrical, whatever you want to call it, right? They cannot continue forever. Technically, you know, oh, well, I guess you could say even just philosophically, right? A channel could go on forever. Uh, a a uh, up channel, down channel, sideways channel can go on forever, but a wedge cannot, right? Triangles cannot. Flags cannot. Well, no, flags, you probably could technically do that, but there are certain patterns that are simply going to run out of room. So what I want to do is remember that these trend lines have four criteria. One is how far back is the first touch point. In other words, 
Is it an older touch point? I think touch points that are further back tend to have a little bit more psychological importance. Another factor is how many touch points. Obviously, we need two, but you will notice that sometimes trend lines have more than two, three, four. The other question is, what is the spacing? What is the spacing for the touch points? Or between the touch points? Okay, so I'll just put TP here. What is the spacing between the touch points? And then the last criteria is how close to current price action is the line that the trend the you know this line this trend line that's been created by those touch points how close to current price action is it okay so those are some of the criteria and we'll talk more about them but ultimately what i want you to notice is this isn't that far back but it does for sure it's very close to where the minor high was created that defined the beginning of the congestion and you could argue it's very close to where the minor low was created so i think there's some relevance to where those touch point these origin points began i also like when my touch points are minor highs and lows i also prefer that as well i think there's good spacing between the touch points you don't want the touch points to be all bundled together i don't think it actually shows good uh, respect for the levels and then finally both these have a, a lot of proximity to current price so, so they do fall on a lot of these criteria very nicely and they each have uh, two actually no the bottom one has three one two three touch points so that's pretty nice there and this is a classic congestion to consolidation now you might ask okay rog what's the play here well it looks like so here's the here's the challenge it looks like, I think most people who would be playing the chart pattern would think, oh, wait a minute, this is a breakdown. Well, not so fast, right? Because overbought and oversold markets can often whipsaw you at levels like this, which is why if I'm gonna play a trend line like this, I'm gonna look to the three tier one levels. And in the premium video, I'm gonna get into how and what to look out for with this very this very same daily crude oil action here and by the way we'll, we'll throw heating oil and we'll throw uh, unleaded into this conversation but there's actually a few things that have caught my eye that could be things that trade that chart pattern traders might overlook and get blindsided by a whipsaw so we'll take a look at that in the premium video all right sit tight for me gang We'll transition over to that convo in just a moment.